Hello guys, it's time for more Sonic CD. This time we'll be doing our Tails playthrough. Now if you went back and, had, and watched my Freedom Planet videos, you saw I pretty much did commentary for the first playthrough and then a, some starter commentary for the first area. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for Tails here. Um, especially considering this game was not designed around Tails. And there's not really a lot added besides him just being playable in it. It looks like he's got some new animations and stuff. But on, like, there's no, like... It's not like playing his Knuckles in Sonic 3, where the levels are sort of different. With Tails, it's the same levels, you're just going to fly through them. And since I'm also doing the bad future, I'm not bothering to get the robot generators. I'm just kind of playing in a... Just kind of a run-through manner. Let you get an idea of what the American soundtrack looks like. What it seems like to play as Tails in Sonic CD and to get a glimpse of what the bad future looks like. So, um, Tails can fly like he can in most of the games. He seems to be able to fly for quite a long time in this one. I don't know if it's more than other games, but it feels like a, but it sure feels like it. He doesn't have the super peel out, so he is slower than Sonic in the end. Though, of course, being able to get around in a game that's much more vertical than I'd say some of the other games is quite an advantage. In fact, there's some levels you can just kind of skip, and I think I do it just to showcase that at one point. Um, just talking ahead, the American soundtrack, it's just okay. Nothing really stands out in it. The only level I feel like has a very good song is Title Tempest. I like the level in that, or I like the song in that one. And uh, one thing that you'll notice is that you won't actually see any the animation for the f bad ending because Sonic's in it. So there's no, I don't know why they didn't just show like the little last part of the bad ending, which is basically the little planet warping back into place. AKA Robotnik had a time stone and he got away. And even though it looked like he was victorious, he wasn't. He has to start all over. That's the bad ending. And it says, uh, oh, try again, or something like that. It's no big deal, but... Just letting you know. And look, here I'm even warping to the bad future, which you'd never want to do in a regular playthrough if you're going for a good future, because that means you have to hit the past sign twice just to get to the past. But there is different music. And unfortunately, there's good bad future music in the Japanese version we didn't get to hear a lot of. You can always look it up. But yeah, even in the bad future, there is not as many enemies. I actually enjoy playing as Tails, but I enjoy playing as in Sonic 3 because it feels like there's a lot of things designed around him. And there might be one or two little Easter eggs in this version of Sonic CD, but the main game was not designed around having Tails' flight ability. And it really shows. And here we go. Time for the boss stage. Something I never commented on in uh, the Sonic playthrough, the jump sound's different in this game. I don't know if it's bad, but it's, it's noticeably different. It's a little bit off. Maybe that CD quality doesn't work for every aspect of audio. And as you can see, Robotnik's pretty much the same boss, he's just not pink. There's literally no difference in the boss fights, depending on good or bad future. It's just the level itself, having a different look and audio, and sometimes some environmental hazards. Especially the later set stages team to have environmental hazards more often. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Tales playthrough. That's it for the, you know, short starter commentary. Enjoy the rest.